And I am the last one. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Stop it here, don't Who is that Jesus? Yes. So Jesus says, Jesus says, he is the first and he is the last. Amen. Yes, Jesus says, he is the first and he is the last. Amen. Yes. He is God. So where is God the Father? <laughs> there the Father alone. Of one. Answer the question. Did God the Father? You would never call Allah your father. Answer the question. Did brother? Answer the question. Answer the question. Did God the Father come first, or did Jesus come first? Yes. They were there from the beginning of time. Which one came first? Why? Oh, they were both there from the beginning of time. So is the Holy Spirit. Why, why, why? Brother, why, why, why? Brother, this Christian says that they both didn't come first. So, so, so if God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, who came first? They're from the beginning of time. Next question. This is not Rajim. Allah Shaitan Next question. No, 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 can we speak? So, the, just the thought is, this is for everyone to come and speak. This is for everyone to come and speak. Sorry, actually, please. However, this gentleman in the Quran, as I know, is you're supposed to resolve and with everybody else. This gentleman's being a little bit passive aggressive with the other gentleman. I don't understand what is what's the point of this conversation is it supposed to be a discussion or i'm this is my first time here so is this supposed to be a discussion because you are speaking which is perfect you have another maybe i don't know christian come and speak but what is the point of this discussion okay are we supposed much. to be resolving something or thank you very much let me speak yeah and please madam be quiet. madam this is speaker's corner as you know. Yeah. And you asked the question in a very nice way. You asked the question in clear English. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You are not only a lady, you are a gentle lady. You know, sometimes we say gentleman. Okay. But here we have seen some supposed to be gentlemen who were not acting gentlemen like but you are so nice with let me tell you in our madam you stubborn you stubborn <coughs> look lady asked a question yes 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 okay yes. okay <laughs> Okay. Quiet. Okay. This is speaker's corner. It is not jungle. Okay. Quiet. Okay. Madam. This is speaker's corner. Freedom of speech. Madam. I am a speaker. I am a Muslim speaker. As you can see me, I am standing on a chair. And there are many people standing around me. So I am trying to get my message across. Freedom of speech. And the vast majority of people, ladies and gentlemen, Muslims and non-Muslims, old and young, they are nicely, they are humanely, they are kindly listening to what I am saying. But madam, we are human beings. Not all human beings are law-abiding. Not all human beings are who break the law. I am trying to speak, which is not easy, very hard. Why? Because what happens when I am trying to speak, another two or three people speak at the same time, that is not right. That is not ma manners. I started English law. I'm not making sense. Quiet. Have you just come out of the jail? Quiet. Okay. Madam. Okay. 
So, madam, I've been speaking in this speaker's corner a long time. I am very experienced as a speaker. I am very experienced being a debater. Sometimes when I speak, there are three or four or five people trying to speak to me or trying to put questions to me or try to hacker me at the same time. That is not right. But the people around, like your good self, you see and you realize that who is more better behavior wise, who is more better manner wise, who is more better language wise. Because I am the Muslim. What am I trying to do? Freedom of speech, speaker's corner. Some people say, even when I am walking, in the streets. Sometimes people shout, hey, terrorist, hey, Osama, hey, ISIS. I am not. Hey, murderer. I am neither a terrorist. I am neither a murderer. So, so, this last subjugate, this last subjugate, this last, this last educated person, he says, why am I dressed like this? Because as you can see, as you can see, I am wearing beautiful white, beautiful white dress. Why am I wearing beautiful white dress? Because I don't hate white. Whites or the white color. I love white color. Why? Our prophet Muhammad bin Gabonim. I think I'm going to send him back to Pakistan. In your store. Yeah. We've been too long in here. And you go to hell. Okay, okay. Now, now, now. Our, our prophet Muhammad bin Gabonim. He used to love wearing white dress. White Arab dress. This is white Pakistani Indian dress. So the man, what the color, what the color? My forefathers are Arab. Quiet. Okay, okay, okay. Allah Akbar. Go, go. 